Are we rolling? Each of the Action. Ay, oof. All righty. Oof. It's freezing today, even though you see a ray of sunlight here and there, but it's really freezing. Wow, family, welcome yet again to another episode of my music journey. Hoping that sharing my life stories with you could help shed a bit of light in your journey, shed a bit of light in your path as well. As we love together, as we pray together, as we cry together, I hope somebody is becoming a better person. I'm learning a lot from you guys. I'm learning a lot from your comments. Some of them are really hilarious, uh, <laughs> very hilarious indeed. Um, some of them are really touching. Some of them are really encouraging. So I just want to encourage you to continue, continue subscribing to my channel. Share it with your friends. You never know who needs a bit of encouragement in this very trying time. So on this episode, I'm talking about the lockdown. Guys, if anybody can tell me that they did not go through any form of challenges in the 2020 lockdown. Actually, that wasn't even a nationwide lockdown. It was a worldwide lockdown. Every place in the world was closed. Guys, I, I was said to have the best year, the best year of my life in 2020. I was fully booked up to the first half of 2021. And it all went in flames in just like a split second. So guys, while doing our best to not undermine the effects of COVID-19, but hey, yo, ah, sham. That was the, that, that was the, uh, guys, I will never forget the year 2020. I will never forget 2020. So imagine this, I am battling health issues. As I've already mentioned in previous vlogs, if you've not caught up with those, go to my health diary just to, to, to get an understanding of what I went through. So I'm battling that already. I'm sure a lot of my colleagues in the industry would agree that 2020 is the year that turned a lot of musicians, a lot of people in the arts industry. Let me not limit this to, to musicians only. And it doesn't only end with musicians and artists and everybody, you know. It, 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 it just covers everybody who, who, who was affected adversely by the effects of COVID-19. People of God, we turned into beggars. I remember us registering our names on databases to receive food parcels and all of those things. It was really, really tough. So imagine from potentially being the best year of my life, it now becomes the worst year of my life. It was cancellation after cancellation after cancellation after cancellation after cancellation. After cancellation. It was horrible. As a family man, needing to provide for my family but not having any form of income covid 19 has really taught people to diversify it has really taught people to diversify we discovered things about ourselves we never thought we had in us you know so it was real while still and and let me tell you something people of god the toughest thing to do is still maintaining a facade yeah that's english right there every time you tune into an episode of my music journey you should have your dictionary in hand facade yeah so as artists as public figures we have this notion that there is a facade that needs to be maintained there is this image that you guys have built around us so it's not only you guys as well, let me be very fair. It's an image that some of us plant in your guys' heads, you know? That is the very same facade that causes us to, to, to be under pressure to still present ourselves as though nothing is going bad. I remember as a certain person, I don't remember their name uh, per se, I just saw this on my Facebook feed, where this person says, it's so amazing how everybody always has a good day on social media. People never share their bad days on social media. People never share their bad days and it creates 
a, a, a picture that life is perfect. What are we teaching to our little ones? This is open for debate. Do let me know what you think on the comment section. If we, if we do not share, of course, the point is to encourage people, but let's not undermine the fact that people also need to see the bad days as well so that when they make decisions they make informed decisions knowing that life is not perfect because somebody might think that i'm ah, kululi is always smiling kululi is... there are days when i frown there are days when i cry there are days when 2020 there are days when i would go hungry but thanks to a lot of men of god from around the world based on relationships i have built but with that being said, I just want to give a special appreciation to all the men of God around the world whose relationships I really value. There's a man of God in um, New Zealand called Reverend Friday Fumbilwa. There's a man of God in Bloemfontein called Apostle Ramile. There's a man of God in Germiston called Reverend Abel Dube. Those people came through for me. There's a man of God in Durban, in KZN, yeah, he's in Durban, called Pastor Bradley. Those people of God would just call me, Mkululi, check your bank account, Mkululi, send me your banking details. And for me, it was very surprising because I, I, I'm one person who, who works for a living. You know, people like me never get anything for free. We, we work for, for, for our stuff. You work, you do some work, and then you get paid. That's the mentality that I had. So to have men of God. Now, this is what made it even more touching. This pandemic affected a lot of churches. But even in their little... Oh, yeah, I'm forgetting. Apostle, 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 welcome, Yingeni. Ah, man of God. This man of God came. He literally came to my house, took me and my wife, and we went shopping, and he told us to pick everything we needed to pick. Oh, Sister Matsepo, thank you so... I know you don't want to be exposed, but it's done. I've already said it. You guys... Hey, we were hungry. We were hungry. And I remember when I got your call to say, we are by the corner. Please open the gate for us. You took us in your car because... Uh, love, did we have a car by then? Oh, the car was there. We, we, we had a car by then. <laughs> they took us in, in, into their car. Well, I didn't have fuel in mine, but they, they didn't even ask they just said, let's get into the car. I was afraid you would say, uh, let's use your car and go to the shops. Having to, <laughs> to say I don't have fuel would have been so embarrassing. You guys took us and you asked us to go on a shopping spree and you paid for everything. And we appreciate that. So it's people like you who gave me hope that God is really, really on my side. God has taken good care of me, people of God. God has really taken good care of me. My needs have been met. We have been, my sanity has been preserved. My health is at a hundred percent. So the question is, guys, how did you manage to survive the lockdown? Some of us became, what do you call it, a hairdresser? I became a hairdresser. I was busy doing my wife's hair, even though there was no single day where she did mine. Actually, she did. Did you do my hair, love? Oh, she always does my hair, by the way. She, she shampoos it. <laughs> she, she shampoos it. She Actually, let me just say, I am a very troublesome husband. I demand a lot of attention. So I make sure I get it from her. I bother her as much as I can every day. Even while I'm at work, I'm thinking of ways to bother her. I'm thinking of ways to be a problem. <laughs> and when I have flu, you know, guys, man flu is always something. But well, thank God I didn't have flu uh, in 2020. Thanks to the face masks and everything like that. Sanitizing hands regularly. I also learned to bake. I also learned to bake, guys. I also learned to bake. I learned to cook. Well, some of the meals were burnt half the time, but it's the thought that counts you know it's the effort that counts and the fact that wives wives are really good liars actually they would say no no love no love it's the best it's the best breakfast i've ever had and then when you taste it you can't even swallow the bacon because it's burnt through and through 
you get what i'm saying so brothers let's learn let's learn to perfect that art let's not wait for another lockdown for us to learn to cook let's spoil these women let's spoil our wives but as you can see from the videos and the pictures that my my cooking has slightly improved i've got a lot to learn but i've, I've, I've improved greatly trust me you would not have eaten the first meal i cooked <laughs> oh, <laughs> now the funny bit is uh, me and my wife went on this challenge. We, we wanted to, to gym, you know, we wanted to work out at home. Those home workouts, we would put, we would put on this video on, on, uh, on YouTube. There's this, there's this Asian lady who does this very beautiful workout. We tried it for about a week and, uh, can you guess who, who was the first to tap out? Can you guess who was the first to tap out? <laughs> So all in all guys, all I need you to do for me is let me know how you survived the lockdown, how you handled the, the loss of jobs, how you handled the loss of business. I know this lockdown affected a lot of us. I know it still continues to affect a lot of people. You know, if you still got a, break, a breakthrough somewhere along the line, please do share your testimony. Let us know what God has done for you. Somebody may be encouraged by your testimony. I look forward to reading some of your comments. I'll read them live. I'll read them live right here on this channel. I'll read them live right here on this channel. I'll read them live right here on this channel because in MK Music, that's exactly what we do. So yeah, thank you so much guys for tuning in once again. Please be kind to somebody, smile at somebody, help somebody. And artists, public figures, when you go around distributing those food parcels, please don't carry your camera. Leave it at home. God bless you.